Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And here we have the teller done that I gotta get moving on. So this is a B610, and I believe the B talks about the general configuration. The six is two, four, and then in the back here, you could put two more people, which gets me to six. And the 10 is that this thing, I believe, had a 10 horsepower motor in it at some point, and it's been replaced with this Magnum 12. What I really need to get moving on is the rear axle. You can see that it's got a huge crack in it. And before you could get moving on it, you have to put together a plan. And what I'd like to do just to get this thing moving is slip a golf cart uh, rear axle into it. Now, I'm guessing, I do not know this, but I'm guessing that these small axles are all about the same when it comes to the configuration, where they bolt on, how wide they are so that the tires fit in the wheel welds, where the pulley is, and all that other kind of stuff. And when I bought this thing, I kind of had that in my mind, that um, the rear axle is no good, and I was going to have to replace it, and hopefully a golf cart one would fit in here. So, we're looking at this one, and let's go look at a Yamaha golf cart rear axle now. So this is the back axle out of an old Yamaha golf cart. What happened to this golf cart is the frame rotted out where the battery was over here and it was it was gone as in not there like two foot of frame so um, it didn't pay to fix the golf cart it would have had to be completely rebuilt and I have several others floating around so I just took the whole back cradle out of out of the golf cart and there it sits um, and what I'd like to do is use just the tr rear rear transaxle. By transaxle, I mean this thing has forward and reverse. And looks like the cables for that hook up about the same. Now to do some measurements. I drew a little diagram here. And now I'm going to put a bunch of measurements down on this and then we'll go over back over to the um, I got every insect in the world including bees right here anyway then we'll go back over to the tailor done and see what could be done from there so I made a bunch of measurements and if you go inside break to inside break I get about 30 inches on both of them the Diameter of the torque converters, 8 inches on both of them. Um, the spacing between the outside of the brackets, about 23 inches on both of them. Um, three and a half inches between the end of the bracket and the brake drum. All about the same. I'm... I'm, I'm thinking it, it might, might be a slam dunk. I, I'm not that lucky a person, but I don't think it's going to be all that hard to change them out. And even if I just get this thing to be a roller on the golf cart rear axle, that way I can move it around, then I can send this one out and get it welded and figure out what's going on with the gears. Yeah, if anything, this one might be slightly narrower than the other one, but that's no big deal. The wheels will, could come out, right? I have space. I really don't see a critical dimension that completely does me in. For anybody who does find a teller done out there. If 
from here back is cradle. So if you theoretically disconnect a couple of bolts up front and a couple of bolts in the back, you could take the whole cradle engine and the whole shoot and match out, which means you could put whatever you want underneath the plywood there. Should not be that big a deal. Yeah, I'm just trying to get somewhat of a grip on this whole thing. Because take, taking, taking the rear axle out, if I had a guess, that's probably the major part of a day's work. If that's, that's just a, you know, off, off the cuff estimate. It, it could be as short as three hours. <laughs> as long as how much time do you have? So, but I'm, I'm, I'm figuring that'll be about a day. Now everything's on the ground and I could put the two transaxles right next to each other and then I'll know exactly what kind of trouble I'm in. This torque converter system appears to be a little bit more heavy duty than the one on the golf cart. And this pulley appears to be closer to the inside of the brake um, than on the golf cart. But given how, how much, how heavy duty all that looks, perhaps that shouldn't be much of a surprise. I figured I'd um, take you you guys along for this whole bit because if, if you find a tailor done not running they go for about 500 and if you can make them run and they look halfway decent they're worth about 3500 so I mean just just to give you an idea of the kind of space you got to play in the only bad thing is if it does have a blown rear axle even golf cart transaxles are not all that easy to get. I have, um, well, it's not near me, but in Poughkeepsie, there's a golf cart junkyard. And if I had to, I could probably get a transaxle out of there. I'm not sure what he would charge me for such a thing. It seems that the going rate is somewhere around 500, give or take a foot and a half. So just, once again, for anybody who wants to play in this game. Anyway, so from the first blush, the first check, the, you know, dead reckoning, let's go with that. It looks like I should be able to swap the transaxle with the, with the Yamaha transaxle without too much trouble. That's, you know, from 40,000 feet, right? We'll figure it all out as we get much closer. Anyway, there we are. I want to thank you all for dropping by and coming with me for this little adventure. I want you all to keep your feet down, your heads up, and I want everyone to get out there and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.